Hey guys, this is Andre, and welcome back to another episode of Maxing Town Hall 9, Episode 3. <laughs> Don't sound too excited, guys. Alright, today we're going to be starting off with some Lava Lunion. We have one Lava Hound in our clan castle, 32 balloons, and the rest minions. We got this base with over 873,000 resources. So, if we can pull this off, this will be a really successful raid. But just a reminder, I am not that great with Lava Lunion. So, to start off, I'm going to put some minions down to check for air bombs so that I don't have to worry about those taking out my balloons. After that, I'm going to put my Hound in and then put all of my balloons and just rush in there. Unfortunately, this guy had Clan Castle troops, put a Rage Spell down, then dropped the Lightning Spell because... If you guys have seen the recent videos about lightning spells, the second and third one are the most concentrated, so they kill clan castle troops a lot better. So I threw the rage spell down first, then the lightning spell, and just let my balloons kind of go through this base. Unfortunately, I didn't get too far into this base. I am not great with Lava Lunion. So I have my minions in the middle. My balloons are still working their way around the outside, but I do have my king and queen. So I'm waiting until the minions at the top left go through that barracks and then I drop both my king and queen so they don't stray around they actually go into the middle and they help me clean up this base the enemy king notices that there's another king in his territory so he goes hey there's only one of us allowed here comes up my king destroys that goes over to him I pop his ability and boom my king and queen tag team him faster than you can say anti-disestablishmentarianism so my queen's taking a little heat and pop her ability just to make sure I can get that elixir storage and once that elixir storage is down, I'm going to end the raid right before she dies at the end. And we get a nice grand total of 872,000 resources with our league bonus, which is pretty crazy. So heading back to our village, we're going to be using a different army composition for this next attack, which is Bog. Barbarians, Archers, Wallbreakers, and Giants. In this attack, I think I only use one Rage spell. Um, a lot of the resources are in the pumps, and I usually don't like to spread out and just kind of barch my way. I like to go through the whole entire base and just attack fully, just because I think it's a little bit easier. So what I start to do is I barch at the top, just so I can make sure to clear some of those buildings, and also take care of that wizard tower, so that my bomb breakers, or wall breakers, sorry, <laughs> can uh, get in there without being destroyed. Put two giants down, then flood the rest of my giants, my king, and then my queen. Throw more wall breakers in there so I can open up different compartments. And then just let my troops tear through this base. I like bringing 20 giants with me rather than 14 just because these level 6 giants are just indestructible. I mean, they tear through bases like it's no big deal. Even though this is a Town Hall 8 and I'm a Town Hall 9, if you go up versus a Town Hall 9 that's kind of maxed out, they will still do a fantastic job. Through this whole entire raid, I didn't use one single heal spell, so it that just shows you that they're a little bit OP for being such a good tank. And then all my archers and everything in the back are just using my giants as meat shields and just shooting over the walls. This army composition and the other army composition where I actually take out the barbarians and put in witches instead is a lot of fun. You can tear through a whole bunch of bases no matter what kind, if they have resources in the pumps, if they have resources in their actual um, storages, it does not matter. So it's one of those kind of universal ones that you can just attack any base that has a lot of uh, resources with, which is pretty fun. So I threw a Rage Spell down right on top of my Giants. I didn't really need it. It was just more for fun since we have 48 seconds left. I was like, eh, you know, why not? I did a whole bunch of Archer, all Archer attacks in between here. So we're going to get a whole bunch of Gold and um, Elixir from that. But I'm not going to show them because they're not that interesting. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see. But we did come out of this Bog Raid with 522,000 resources. So that was awesome. So I did a whole bunch of all Archer attacks and got up to about 4.3 million gold and 2.8 million elixir and a lot more dark elixir. So we're going to be using that here today. The first thing I'm going to do is upgrade a couple of my walls. Unfortunately, we didn't have an extra 200,000 elixir because that would have helped us out upgrading another wall. Unfortunately, we're only going to be able to do two and upgrading our walls is going to be kind of a pain. I definitely want to get those all to max, um, at least to max level 9. At level 10, there are 3 million gold and 3 million elixir each. Next thing I'm going to do is upgrade my golem, and that's going to give us 4 extra damage, 500 extra hit points, but cost us another 75 dark elixir. That's going to take 12 days, and we'll still have one more level to upgrade them till they get to max for Town Hall 9. So the next thing I'm going to do is upgrade my air defense to level 7. That's going to cost 4.2 million gold and take 10 days. That is the last 
last, last, last air defense I have to upgrade. So I am super happy about that. We have all of our Teslas going up to level seven. We have all of our air defense going up to max. So we're getting pretty far in this. This is pretty good. And that's it for the episode, guys. Make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good day. Peace.